Hey guys, welcome back to TechRap and we have the new OnePlus 6 with us here and here in this video I'm going to show you guys the new Android P developer preview on OnePlus 6, new features, things which are working and which aren't and also the procedure on how to get it. The installation procedure is same as manually flashing open beta ROMs from stable builds, go to settings, system updates, hit the gear icon at the top right corner, select local upgrade, pick this downloaded Android P beta zip file and flash it. This is a full ROM so it takes about 2 or 3 minutes for installing the ROM. Once everything is done, reboot your phone. If you are having boot loop issues, hold volume down plus power button to get to the recovery screen. Scroll up or down using volume buttons, select wipe or factory reset and hit the power button for confirmation. Once the wiping is done, reboot your phone for completing the rest of the installation process. Now there is no boot loop and as you can see on the screen the pop-up says that my device is enrolled for Android P beta program. This is the installation setup and let's set up the fingerprint sensor and see if it is working fine or not. The process went smooth and the fingerprint sensor is working just fine but this ROM lacks face unlock feature. We are done with the setup. This is the Android P lock screen. This is the launcher. By default the ROM ships with OnePlus launcher. The Pixel Android P beta launcher also works fine and I like it more than the OnePlus launcher. This is an update for OnePlus launcher version 2.3.3 on the Play Store if you wanna try it. Regarding the features of the OnePlus launcher, you have shelf on the left side of the home screen. This is the app drawer. You have the search function at the top. Dynamic icon feature is working as you can see for the clock icon. When you hit the three dot menu at the top right corner, you can disable history, enable quick search and with quick search you can search apps based on categories. This is the new quick settings and notification bar. Here we have the rounded quick tiles but scrolling through quick tiles is still in horizontal mode and not vertical like Pixel 2 beta version. Long pressing on the quick tiles take you to the respect to category but I wish we can connect to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi within the quick setting panel itself. This is the notification bar, there are few improvements here. One thing I really like about Android P is that now you can completely disable those persistent app consuming battery or running in the background notifications from the notification bar. Volume controls are still the older ones, we don't have the new revamped volume slider. This is the power menu, we can switch off, restart and take a screenshot but the google markup for editing screenshot is missing. There's a new feature that locks on your phone with just one head. You can enable lockdown by going to settings, security and location, lock screen preferences and enable lockdown to show it in the power menu. With lockdown you'll be able to disable fingerprint sensor, trusted face, voice, reverting back to pin or pattern unlock. Another thing that is missing in OnePlus 6 Android P beta version compared to Pixel 2 beta is that there are no full screen gestures. Under buttons and gestures, you can just customize the alert slider. There's a zoom lens feature for the text. Whenever you select a text, you get the zoom text view while scrolling through it. With Android P, you don't have to lock your phone to portrait mode. Android P will automatically display a button to force change the screen rotation when the orientation of the phone changes. Calls and networks are working fine, but as you can see, voice over LTE is not working. When you go to the network settings, Volte is activated but it is not working. This is the camera app, looks same as Oxygen OS camera. All features like 1x or 2x zoom, portrait mode, manual mode, video recording, selfie camera, everything is working fine. Hotspot is working fine but it actually crashed like couple of times when I was trying to enable it but once I have enabled it, I had no issues using Hotspot. Bluetooth is working fine, I was able to connect to multiple devices and audio via Bluetooth also had no issues. I haven't had the chance to test NFC and casting but if you guys had tested it, do let me know in the comments below if it is working fine or not. Regarding charging, it just says charging when you connect it to a dash charger but rest assured dash charging is working perfectly fine. As you can see the phone is getting charged at a rate of 3000 to 3500 milliampers and you can charge 30% of the phone battery with 15 minutes of time and I did notice the phone getting heated up slightly with dash charging. These are the default apps you get with the ROM minus hangouts. The file manager included here is a very old Cyanogen file manager. This is a setting panel with bunch of color icons. We have search bar at the top. You can enable battery percentage on the status bar from the battery menu. And as you can see there are a couple of broken things here like the last charge and the screen on time. 
Under display settings you have adaptive brightness which is working perfectly fine. Under advanced display options you don't have the theming options like Android P, Pixel Beta. You can change font size, display size and ambient display is working fine. And you can also lift your phone to activate the ambient display. This is the sound tab. This is the apps and notification tab. You have recently opened apps at the top. You have notification settings. There's do not disturb mode here which works perfectly fine. You can change the default apps for home app, browser and text messages. Under system settings you have about phone. The device name is OnePlus 6. Under advanced options you get hardware info like serial number, IMEI and the Android version which is P with May 5 security patch. This is the extended USB preference tab you get when you connect your phone to the PC. All the sensors like accelerometer, magnetic field, orientation, gyroscope, light sensor, everything is working fine. There are no issues with video playback, audio works fine with loudspeaker, earphones and also with Bluetooth. Regarding benchmarks, anti 2 version 7 score is 2,85,925 with Geekbench 4 single core score is 2432 and multi core score is 8410 and with Nina Mark 2 it is 59.9 frames per second. Overall the ROM seems to be ok, almost everything is working fine apart from Vivo LT but it has some stability issues as I have noticed lots of crashes every now and then. That being said, things like random reboot never happen. This is definitely can't be referred to as a daily driver but if you are curious about new things, you can definitely give it a try for some time. So that's about Android P developer preview on OnePlus 6. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Bye bye and I will see you soon in my next video.